It's been a couple of years since Foresight released their Mark I Smart Helmet. If you've never heard of Foresight before, they've designed a Bluetooth ready helmet equipped with a built-in camera, microphone and speakers. It also has a peripheral LED display all bundled inside an ECE 2205 lightweight carbon fiber shell and they have just recently launched their Mark I S. In this video, we're going to take a look at what's inside the box and the improvements made over the Mark I. If you'd like a more detailed explanation of the helmet and how it works with the app and the controller, for example, make sure you check out the detailed unboxing video I made a while ago, which I'll link here and at the end of the video. Now before we move on, Foresight sent me out the Mark I S for me to try out and to make a video on. There's no money involved and they haven't reviewed the video or anything like that either. This is just a video on my general thoughts and my experiences with it that I'm sharing with you guys. Uh, let's go, let's jump into it. Unbox, baby. Foresight are all about the premium experience, even down to the unboxing with attention to detail. When you first open the box, you'll be greeted with a tray of goodies which supply you with your certificate of authenticity, operation guide, USB-C charging cable, a charging adapter, the Bluetooth controller, the Bluetooth controller mount kit, the Foresight maintenance tool, and for a limited time launch offer, the instant media access cable is included. More on this later. Underneath the tray, we have the helmet itself with a helmet bag included. The Mark I S now comes with premium 40mm Harman Kardon speakers with a newly designed comfort fit cavity. Spaces are also included for a personal audio experience. They recommend to definitely use the spaces and experiment with EQ settings on your phone or streaming service for optimal sound performance. They sent a couple of helmets to Harman Kardon so the engineers could develop a custom tuning profile specifically for the speaker cavity. Foresight had them focus on enhancing bass response through to the mid-range. They also added a sound deadening material to the base of the cavity to help enhance sound performance. The speakers sound so good. Holy crap, you can pump it up. You've got so much headroom. If you go full ball, you are going to blast your ears off. The shell is made out of carbon fiber, so I feel like the wind noise the wind noise issue that I feel like I'm having, um, I don't get with Premier, but I think it's just because that this is a carbon fiber helmet, it's very lightweight. So when you're cruising on the freeway, I mean like I'm talking like 80 k's above, you get a bit of wind noise coming through the helmet and you're sort of competing with the speakers anyway. Um, but that's just me, that's just how I feel about it. Heaps of headroom, very clear, very crystal clear, which is nice. Way better than the first one, way better than the Mark one. Um, and obviously, yeah, go into your phone and tune your settings. I have the 5mm speaker spaces in. Move the speakers around so they're right at your ear holes and you'll be sweet. The new visor design features an updated mechanism with a quick release pull tab and locking switch. The Mark 1S visor is Pinlock Max Vision 120 ready, which is the highest grade of Pinlock available. Pinlock offer 30, 70 and 120, where Foresight have gone for the best of the best. 120 and the peripheral is super wide you can't even see the little that little line thing around you while you're riding it's awesome the camera has had a slight tweak with an improved color tuning profile and even wider field of view and what you're seeing right now is straight out of the camera no color grading same as the microphone the audio i haven't put in the eq over the top of it now foresight do have some high competition obviously we're comparing this to action cameras like the insta360 and the gopro and dji and stuff like that but the whole main reason for them to have a camera in the helmet in the first place is so that, look at this guy, what the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> for, for that, for that, that exact reason. People drive like idiots, people hit motorcyclists off the road, and um, we literally can have a camera now recording that, so you can take that to your insurance company or whatever. It's a safety device. The bonus with it is that you do have a microphone, so you can vlog if you really want to. If you go, want to go for a ride with your mates and stuff, you can have a little ride, have a little chat, without having to strap up a GoPro, wire it all up. It'd be nice, obviously, if they had 4K image stability, but you know, future models. It's the Mark 1 S. This is just their tiny little upgraded, their tiny, tiny little tweaked version of their Mark 1. Um, so yeah, that's the camera. A few aesthetic changes to the shape of the helmet have been made to help improve its aerodynamic capabilities. Now we're talking minimal changes here, super minimal. This is their Mark I helmet. And the only biggest difference I can sort of see or tell between both helmets is that these vents have been switched around. So that's the Mark I, and that's the Mark I S. So they've been reversed. Also, just the little contours, the shapes all around the helmet have been enhanced. So the little dig out here is a little bit more noticeable than it is 
on the Mark 1. So just little features like that. It just gives it a little bit more structural clarity. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. Another update they've made also is the tab where you open up the visor. It's now off-centered. So the first one, the Mark 1, used to be in the middle there. So you'd have to open up like that. This one is now offset to the left, which makes it a lot more easier when you're cruising down, hands on the throttle, you can easily just left hand, just knock that up a little bit. Also, this was the very first notch that you could open it up to there, which is quite large. It's a lot of air just going in for the very first little, you want it to just be able to crack a little bit, which is what they've done with their Mark 1S now. That's the first notch there. That's a lot less. You can just crack it, a little bit of air in, happy days. The Mark 1S standard interior liner features a new sweat absorbent hex sports fabric. I don't have this liner in my helmet. Instead, I have the new premium padding, which is much more comfy, luxurious and quiet, which is a big step up. The premium padding is an optional upgrade, which in my opinion is well worth it. 3D formed foam throughout the cheek pads and crown liner offers a contoured fit. The new neck roll design with an extendable chin curtain creates a tighter seal around the neck, which significantly reduces noise while providing better isolation for improved audio performance. Premium sweat wick materials have been selected for durability, comfort, and fit. If you love the feel of premium material or ride long freeways on the regular, then this is an option that you may want to include. Comfort liner feels fantastic. It hugs your head. I've never experienced this with a helmet before. It literally locks in behind your head. Everything, the extended chin curtain, keeping me all nice and warm, stops all the little air holes, seeping air in, so it's great in winter. In summer, you can remove the chin, the, um, chin extension, the chin curtain, um, but yeah, feels great. Padding on my cheeks, fantastic. It's not rough, it's not all weird, and it smells freaking good. The app has also come a long way. The alerts are much smarter now. An algorithm takes into account your direction traveled, speed, and what type of road you're on to work out how relevant approaching alerts are to you. There used to just be a permanent 500 meter ring around your location that would catch everything that hits it, and the alert would come through the helmet, which is why I used to have notifications turned off. Now, it's a different story. The app now provides you with the ability to access your media directly from your helmet where you can manage your video files. Woo! That's awesome as well as trim and export clips up to 30 seconds in length, which is perfect for sharing your ride on social media without the use of a computer. Or if you're at the pub and you wanna show your buddies, oh, check this out, there was a kangaroo that jumped out right in front of me, I swerved it, did a wheelie. Auto record enables you to capture your ride without the need to use the app or the controller. Turn your helmet on and recording starts automatically and your footage is saved when you turn the helmet off. It's perfect. Dash cam mode continuously records until you reach your SD card's storage capacity, then deletes the oldest footage on a loop so you can set and forget while capturing everything all the time. Now, as I mentioned earlier while out on the ride, Foresight is a helmet brand with safety being number one. These guys aren't a camera or communications brand. Absolutely, I would love to see them step up the camera game. 4K, image stability, full manual control it'd be the best. Or for the Bluetooth to be able to connect to other comms units such as Cardo or Senna. By the way, both are something that they're constantly striving for. Foresight are a smart helmet brand pushing the boundaries to help our riding experiences be a safer one, all while delivering a premium experience to the customers, not only with quality, but with customer service. This helmet is perfect for those who want a dash cam without the fuss of having to mount a GoPro with a media mod, external microphone, or having to add in a comms unit if you like to listen to music or chat to friends. If you aren't a serious video creator and you want to share footage of your ride with some mates with the ability to record your voice while riding, or maybe you want to record your track days. Here in Australia, you aren't allowed to have an action camera mounted to your helmet on racetracks. But the Foresight helmet is track approved, which is incredible. The team at Foresight are here to stay and are pushing the boundaries with the safety, tech and usability, and I'm super excited to see what will come next. Hopefully, an MX style helmet. So I don't do sports. I don't do full face. MX, come on guys. I actually know the guys at Foresight as well personally. They're based in Sydney, they're an Australian brand, which is awesome, full local. They're a bunch of awesome dudes they'd be watching now. Peace guys, peace. We actually went for a ride where we were testing out the live wires to see how far they'd get on a single charge. They're lovely guys. And if you have any questions or any concerns or any suggestions, reach out to them. Their customer service is, um, is very, very good. They're a bunch of dudes and they're making helmets and they're having a good old time. How do you get your hands on one? Simply jump on the website and place your order. They're assembled to order and they did experience some delays in materials for their launch date. So at this moment, if you order today, there's about a four to five week lead time. 
Shipping is limited at the moment, so make sure you check out the website for details. The Mark 1S pack is Australian $12.99 with added options available. If you'd like to receive 5% off the total price and receive a free pin lock valued at $59, then make sure you use code MOTOFEELS5 at checkout. This code is an affiliate code where I receive a small kickback from every purchase made at no extra cost to you. But I always try to get you guys a little something for free, you know? I try to help you out. And in doing so, you help me out. So we're helping each other out. So what are your thoughts on the new Mark 1S? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace. Let me know in the next, let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next vid. <laughs> Please. So what do you thought? Oh man, I can't do it without a buddy. <laughs> see you next time. So what are your thoughts on the new Mark 1S? <laughs> <laughs>